Howdy y'all, I'm Cadet Haven. Let's hop into this. Being an officer is a people job. And let's be clear, you're not really a commander. You're a leader. More accurately, an influencer with some amount of authority. Getting to yes is important. Coming to an agreement without flexing your authority is the ideal. And that's assuming you even have the authority in that situation. A leader must be a good negotiator to get what is best for his or her organization. One of the core tenets from Getting to Yes by William Urey and Roger Fisher is the distinction between positional and principled negotiation. Positional negotiation is negotiation based on what you want. I want this training course of action and these resources to support it. That's what I want. You're forced to fight against what the other party wants and you're often forced to make concessions, enemies, and frequently no one comes out happy with the results. Principled negotiation, on the other hand, digs down to the why and argues on the facts and merits of the situation. Okay, I, I understand that you want to schedule range day for the upcoming FTX, but why do you want it? We just spent two weeks straight on the range and everyone fires expert. What we failed at was trench clearing. Oh, I see. You want to do something that's simple and reliable so that we don't get yelled at again by our hard-ass company commander for something we couldn't have possibly known about. Okay, got it. I, I feel you. I can work with that. Let's figure out a training that's simple and we know how to do so we don't get destroyed again, but we'll also provide the company with really good training value. All right, let's, let's figure something out together. And just like that, an argument turned from a you-against-me mentality and shifted towards a us against the problem mentality. It's amazing what kind of unconventional or unexpected solutions can be found by starting with why. I will, and I recommend it for all other future officers, to be very conscientious of always negotiating around the facts and not making it personal, avoiding ad hominem and ad populum argumentum at all cost. Thank you for your time and attention. Take care, y'all.